And I don't know about y'all, but I love watching Candace Owens politely dismantle folks, which is exactly why we keep doing commentaries on these kinds of videos. Was there ever a point in history where white privilege did exist? No. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, when we lived in a country where if you were black, uh, you were not allowed to go into certain places, right? I suppose you could say again, and not that's not, I guess that wouldn't be white privilege, you would call that uh, Nordic privilege in the progressive era when there were signs that said Irish need not apply, so that's, that's a different, that is white on white, a lack of a privilege. Uh, of mm. course, there's examples in the history of the world where you would have been privileged if your skin was white, especially in this country and in other countries as well, but today, no, white privilege does not exist. When did it end? Over time, beginning with the civil rights Charlie era, Kirk. it's not a particular incident or moment, but multi-generations, the country became significantly less racist. I would say after Reconstruction, after the Civil War, after, you know, when we had desegregation, fought the Democrat institutional racism, we fought back against the KKK, mm. when the Civil Rights Act was signed, um, when blacks were allowed to participate in Major League Baseball, the National Football League, the National Basketball Association, served at elected office, all those things, you know, contributed to the end of the, what used to be privilege in, in society, white privilege. You said yes, less racist. When is, so it, is it still somewhat no. racist? No, do you just have questions? I think. No, you said you wanted a dialogue. I'm happy to have Oh, okay. Um, no. He looked kind of crazy. Country. I ain't gonna lie. No, America is not a racist country today. Is it, mm -hmm. is it, is it still racist? So no, what did it there, end? no. Certain, you can't answer the question. It ended when it's. It ended, I, ended, I just no, did. Okay, no, I, you I, did it. You said I'll, less I will racist. answer. I'll answer. I'm answering you. Thank you. When it stopped being systemic, when there stopped being laws in yes. place that stopped That's me a as a black answer. person doing what you are able to do as a white man. No, I'm not asking that. Systemic you, racism does not just <laughs> not simply. What? Lie. Yes, you you just what asked me to light? define when it stopped being when this what country stopped being racist. That's you, the answer. When? That I can't give you the exact date and time and hour. I'm telling <laughs> you. When. A decade. What do you Mid 1970s. <laughs> yeah, about, about, Mid 1970s. Yeah. So mass incarceration affecting black and brown communities disproportionately they committed, their population. Because they committed more crimes. They yeah, well, more, yeah. As to well, Charlie why, is why composed, boy. Because, because we ripped black, apart the family. Because it's of not, their economic situation. It's, and it's the, absolutely. I'm fatherless homes. Why don't wait, Pam? Why are liberals so angry? I can't figure out why. Ooh, my man is unleashed. Stop assuming my political affiliation. Hold on, bring it back. Now, I don't like the bombs like being dropped like that. I stopped cursing a few years back just because I felt disgusting just letting that, that vile, toxic tone come out. It just, there's no need for it. Now, y'all may disagree. That's perfectly okay. You, you're entitled to that right, but have a civil discourse. My goodness. Yeah, well, yeah. As to why, why did they commit more crimes? Because, because we ripped black, apart the family. Because it's of their not, economic See the situation. tone raising, getting it's upset. I'm not fucking talking to you, dude. Why don't wait, Pam? Why are liberals so angry? I can't figure Ooh, out why. You're angry. Why are you angry? I'm not a liberal, now? so stop assuming my political okay, well, affiliation. Okay, well, you just came out of nowhere and just start cursing. No, you invited me up there to raise my hand. I know, but I'm saying you just turned here. around no, and you're cursing at someone. Why don't you calm down? It's just a conversation. I'm perfectly calm. I can Nobody, curse you don't have to turn around and curse anyone behind you. I can. You're okay. It's a free country, right? Okay. No, no. But I'm saying that it's not necessary to have this dialogue. You just turn around and be angry. I do always remark, and I am going to suspect that you are liberal because right now you're trying to sell me my own. I'm not liberal. You're selling me my own oppression, so that's a very liberal I'm stance. Not liberal. Usually when a white man stands up and tells me that, yes, I, I this is a, a racist country and is oppressed, they do tend to be liberal. Only liberals try to sell me my oppression. But I'm not. But, okay, I'm not going to assume your Thank your you. your Thanks. political ideology. So here's, here's yes, I, do. Here, I mean, to answer your question for me, when the system stops being racist and there's nothing stopping us, and you brought up the prison the prison rates, and you said something that was actually really important. You said it's because their communities have been economically depressed. So that would not be uh, because of the color of your skin. That, that's economic privilege. If you ask me whether or not I believe in economic privilege, I would tell you yes. If you ask me whether or not I think that somebody born into a family of billionaires has more, will have be afforded more privileges in life than somebody that is born in the projects of Chicago, I would say yes, because economic privilege in this country does exist. But there is that's nothing, common sense, there's no law in place that is stopping a person because of the color of their their skin from gaining that economic privilege, which is why I do not believe that white privilege, which is based upon the color of your skin, exists. Amen. Black poverty and white poverty. Dip. Amen. Go out and work for it. Go get it. You want some work for it. Yeah, you might have to put a little extra grind time, but if you really are about something, if you really are uh, trying to attain something and say that you, you know, that's your goal in life, 
you can work and there's always means to do so you just have to be willing to put in that effort willing to sacrifice some some time and some some things that other people aren't willing to sacrifice men women black white it, it don't matter what you are land of the free because of the brave that's what we are here in america so all of the opportunities and and chances to go and achieve that goal are there but are you really willing to to lay it down and sacrifice and really put in that extra effort to go out and make that happen no. most people are no that's poor a, is poor that's a that's a lie white people <laughs> from oh boy. gaining that economic privilege which is why i do not believe that white privilege which is based upon the color of your skin mm -hmm. exists is black poverty and white poverty different do no. they face different no that's poor a, is poor that's a that's a lie white people are more <laughs> likely to to be in rural poverty which is different than urban poverty. that's because in black people don't live in rural parts of america <laughs> yeah, I don't see a lot of black folks where I'm at. Just saying. Black people don't live in rural parts of America. Why? Historically, why? Why did black people flock? Because of Lyndon Baines urban... Johnson, urban planning, central central planning, great society, where he said we are going to verticalize the black community, destroy the black father, Lyndon introduce B. drugs in the late 1960s, subsidize single motherhood, president. which used to be 22 percent in the 1960s, which is now 73 percent. Only a government program could make something like that happen. Did it, have any, did it have anything to do with the lynchings in the South and the hostility towards black people in the South? Well, first off, you, you that, say... Is there any reason you're, you're why sitting, they left the South? There's, there's not so, just so rural places knows, in the uh, South. It's, literally it's, half, I'm in the North. Not half, you go one third of the people that were lynched in the South were white Republicans. So Republicans were being lynched in the South um, as well. So let's oh, not pretend... Well. That okay, if, that's if, fine, if your argument, not, if you're asking me, it seems like that's fine. it seems like you're you're no. I just I just respond to you said it was a dialogue. Does it have anything to do do black people leaving the South and going to inner Calm city down, man. He just My answered goodness. that question for you. Take a Xanax or something. Have anything to do with the KKK <laughs> Very little to lynchings yes. and violence in the South that black people face? So what it has to do with is the fact that black people continue. No, answer my question. No, very little to nothing. Yes, She's trying no. to. Very you're little. You're not allowing answer. me. To, okay, listen, you're not going to be like, you're not my boss. So don't do tell me, don't tell me how I have to answer time. your I'm question. Okay? Nobody's, nobody's, in, nobody's intimidated no. from you telling me how I'm going to answer your question. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm trying to have an honest conversation. Okay? I'm trying to have an honest conversation with you. Why don't you stop exercising your invisible white privilege and let the black girl talk for a second, okay? Oh! Okay, so to answer your question. So white well, people exist. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh boy, I gotta bring that back. That means a r r remix. Come on. Don't tell me how I have to Candace, the composure, the, the grit. No. I love it. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm trying to have an honest conversation. Why don't you stop exercising your invisible white privilege and let the black girl talk for a second, okay? Oh, that was gold. That was money. That guy right there definitely punches holes in the wall in his spare time when he gets upset when he snaps he loses his mind he would have done that same thing to candace had there not been security and charlie kirk up there but even then candace wouldn't have let that stuff fly candace would have, would have hit him with a right right left need him in the nuts and, and rolled on about her day so white privilege exists wait 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 wait, wait, wait. No, i said invisible white privilege i said invisible white privilege if you listen of course okay? it's invisible white so privilege is not first, a tangible white thing white privilege does not exist economic privilege does exist okay if you're asking me do i think the black community has been crippled economically the answer would be yes it has been crippled economically by democrat policies you just heard who me cares say that who does it I, I democrats care. are americans democrats are in America, because so that therefore tells you, you just admitted that, you, that there has been disadvantages it, it by two no, black she did not. Not Democrats who it are American. Oh my goodness. Don't y'all love how when people say, I'm trying to have an honest conversation at the same time where they're yelling, insulting, crying, whining, and then say, I'm not a liberal. Yes, you are. The news is it's, it's right there. All the facts, the evidence right there point to you. In fact, sir, are a liberal. It is not based off. You asked no. me if white privilege exists. The answer is white privilege because you're born white. That means you're going to not you have just, this or that. It does not exist. No, it does not exist. You just admitted that the Democrats, the boogeyman Democrats, they're not boogeyman. They exist. The boogeyman people. doesn't exist. No. 60 years Democrats ago. Exist. They did it. <laughs> it so boogeyman Y'all hear the nonsense he's spilling. You admit that it exists. 60. I don't think you're, you're comprehending. No, it's, it's not no, adding up no, to no, it. No, that's, sure that's clear. That's apparent. You said 60 years ago. White people had <laughs> Spell it, it out, white Charlie. people. Over time, there's Thank no you. more systemic laws that are in place. What, what, let, let, me, let me ask you a question. What, let me ask you a question. What can a white person do, do that a black person cannot do today in today's America? Name one thing. Well, black people 
answer the question. Isn't that, isn't that how this works? Fucking question. Who are you black upset, boy? Who? Marijuana. Black and white people smoke marijuana at the same rates. Yet a black person is three to four times more likely to be that. put in jail for that. Okay. okay and okay. I know the reason why, because you had the So stop smoking no, marijuana. No. It's not a Because actually, I had a girlfriend. I had a family member who got a DUI. And I had you're a girlfriend who got a DUI. You're just to let you know I, by I, just saying what you're saying and standing up here and knowing what's going on. You're dr 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 Police brutality. He's drunk. Y'all see the Corona sporting cap? He, he tipsy. I mean, he might be a little over tipsy. He's double fisting in them things. Beer goggles on, everything. Bring this thing back. Y'all, he couldn't answer the question. He went straight to, to a drug-related discussion. And that, that has no bearing on this, this conversation right here. Personally, I've smoked weed. You don't... It, you don't need it. You shouldn't do it. It impairs you physically, mentally, all of that. Now, people are going to come in the comments saying, and, uh, you know, weed for health and things like that. And I don't know all the statistical data and what exactly it does to, to help in certain conditions, stress, anxiety, whatever it may be. But I know I like life sober a whole lot better than being impaired by alcohol or drugs of, of any kind. You may disagree, and that's perfectly okay. God gave you that right of, of free will. But at the end of the day, there's nothing that a black person can't do that a white person can, man or woman. If you're the best person for the the job and you're willing to put in the extra time and effort and sacrifice all the the luxuries and conveniences that people take advantage of and the, and uh, you know capitalize on that laziness that they're afforded if you're willing to sacrifice that and, and dedicate yourself to that job whatever the role may be whatever the position you're going for it doesn't matter what color you are it doesn't matter what gender you are there's only two by the way men women and a black person is three to four times more likely to be that. put in jail for that okay, okay and okay. i know the reason why because you have the police from the no, urban communities and no. senior police those communities no. because actually i had a girlfriend i had a family member who got a dui and i had a you're girlfriend who got a dui just to let you know I, I, by I, just saying what you're saying and standing up here and knowing what's going standing on standing is slurring police brutality <laughs> Doing justice. I love this. this is so, I guys, I, I love that joke. behind me. There's like black people rolling their eyes, but the two white guys are yelling at me, telling me that I don't agree with them. This is, this is what I love about white liberals, right? Like they know it's so important for them to sell us no, our not. oppression that they'll come up and tell us we're the race. Just say, just say, just say it, just say it, just say it. You speak for well, why don't you people? stop speaking for black people? That would be great. Okay? I'm not. <laughs> Oh, that was money. I don't know how anybody couldn't love Candace Owens because you can underestimate her all day long based on her size, her color, her being a woman, but that's at your own risk because if you aren't there to have a civil discussion, she will take you down. She will obliterate every talking point you have with fact and logic, and I'm absolutely here for it every time. The woman is amazing. Now, you can take a lot away from a video like this, even a seven, eight minute clip like the one we just saw with Candace Owens, Charlie Kirk, and those two dudes. If you even count the dude in the corona hat, I don't know if he was actually there to have a discussion or just you know, get a quick couple minutes of fame. He didn't get that at the very least. He, he made himself look like a fool slurring speech, rocking the Corona, and it just wasn't a good good look for him at all. But the other guy, he wasn't there to have civil discourse. He wasn't there to grow. He wasn't there to, to take in or interpret any other opinions but his own. And then when presented with something else, with a differing argument, he lashed out. He got emotional. He started cursing and throwing out some volatility, and, and nobody wants that. Nobody can grow from that. Once you present emotion and, and get upset and angry and butt hurt you're not you're not there for for a discussion anymore then it's just going to be an argument of lashing out who can get the best come back who can get the best last word nobody wins at that situation so the fact that candace maintained her composure charlie kirk as well always cool calm collected didn't didn't flinch not one bit candace didn't either I love that. But if we're going to have discussions, if we're going to grow and see other sides, that's exactly what we got to do. We got to be quiet when somebody else is talking, listen, and then speak. You can't take in information. You can't ask ask questions and actually evaluate uh, another point when you're talking. You can't evaluate any other uh, fact, opinion, whatever it may be without listening. You have to listen, take a second, breathe, and just listen. It, it, that's a beautiful thing when you can gather information and think for yourself and let people make up their own mind from there. But people want to force these these agendas on you, force these rhetorics, no matter what side you're on. Listen and then respond. Slow to speak, quick to listen. That's that's the way, in my opinion. You may disagree. Comment your thoughts down below. Let's keep this thing rolling. Share this video if you like commentaries like this. You rock with Candace Owens. You rock with myself. I appreciate it. Let's keep this thing going. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. I appreciate it so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Outside of that, if you want to support the channel, hit that thanks button. Got a little heart next to it right down below. All the links that I, you know, products I use, things that I get behind brands that support me are always linked in the description. Get you some Gibby gear as well. That's down there. Um, outside of that, I'll be praying for you. I love y'all. I don't got a sermon for you this time. Maybe I will in the future. Y'all know how I get down and I just, I can't help myself. My life is based in Jesus. My life is based, based in that good book. If I can speak English basic instructions before leaving earth i highly encourage you to look into it but you're gonna do what you want god gave you free will it's a beautiful thing but until next time i'm praying for you i love y'all godspeed i'm gone